2042 and they might... You know, they're, they're gonna. I mean, they're gonna make a sequel to 2042, right? Right? It's gonna happen. Right, yeah, to to totally, dude, yeah. PA surely would wanna make another cool half a billion dollars by uh, just re releasing another Modern Warfare game. I don't think they would take the risk of making a sci fi title unless it was really cheap to do. Like, they're probably gonna make like an engine and then just keep using it for a bunch of things. They may like the different class fight. Yeah, but. They're re making a new one for four? Or? They're just gonna keep up with the class fight. Everything's in class fight, except for sports games. Like, everything. Speed, Battlefield, whatever other man shooter they have to come up with. Um, what, what, do, what do they have besides Need for Speed and Battlefield anyway? Okay, we got our AC-130, sounds good. I use a name for the shitty Minecraft clan. Okay. Mm. I wonder if there's actual moderation here. I, don't know, I think I'll just go with dude fucking 420. Oh, what the fuck? It's multiplayer? all these videos of BF3, it doesn't look like a bad game at all. So I don't know why you guys don't like it. It's disappointing one. What was so great about BC2 compared to this anyways? Uh, BC2 didn't have jets. I think that's the main thing. Enemy vehicle yeah. What if they made... A map or something or a single game mode or a service setting where you could just turn off jet. It'd be nice. There is. I've done that. There's like Wait. close. No, there, there's no. In different maps without like jets. Like every good vehicle, just no jets mode. Honestly, uh, yeah. I, I'd be okay with still having jets. Just don't give them weapons. And that way you can use them as transport or whatever, which is the proper way to use jets. As a jet expert, I As an expert in Japanese jet culture.
Did you are you using push to talk? Thank you. Well maybe it is not because you you just kinda like you just hear like wind going past your mic and that's what happens. Alright, I can't help that right now. Okay, time to start up the curiosity. I'm really curious as to what the foul cube looks like. I mean, I think the thing is, in BF3, people were expecting either Bad Company 2 or BF2. Something like that, it isn't quite that. Yeah, and it isn't quite balanced, it isn't quite good. But it still has its moments. If you like Battlefield for the moment, then it's still good. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't. Yeah. Wow, holy shit, there's still a ton of pixels. Only seven layers remaining. Well, let's let's fucking hop to it. Let's uh let's quit these cubes. I shot a tree with my Holy shit, look at all the people playing with my inside. I like how when you commit suicide accidentally, you, you should get shown your own dog tags. Wait, are you guys playing Battlefield 3? I am. I'm still playing, remember the trailer? No, dude. I'm high. Perfect way to play. I've been high pretty much all day, so... <laughs> this owns it. It sucked on my fucking phone, but not here. I just drag my hand across the screen and like tap everything. Yeah, I'm tapping these fucking cues. Hit Q as much as possible. I want to play like a modern version of Crusader Kings right now. But, um... Wait, wait, wait. Like politics in the modern world with like Crusader King like. Uh, intrigues. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I think that modern politics wouldn't, like, like, what kind of, uh... Well, dude, I want to, like, deal with other countries, like, you be, like, a powerful country, you have to, like, set up coups in different places, and, like, schmooze leaders, or, like, blackball them or something, or, you know, Deal arms to this country's insurgency, back that one's regime. It could, it would be cool if it was like the Cold War. Yeah, you do, you can do all different types of stuff with it. You, know, you do Cold War, you can do up to modern or, or modern times. Yeah, you got a point. Yeah, build army and navies and stuff like that. Yeah, basically just the modern Crusader Kings. You wouldn't have to worry about like dynasties and stuff, but you'd have to worry about you know your party and like your party's influence in your uh, in your country. It's so fucking weird in the curiosity when you zoom in and you can see other people attacking the cubes. That's fucking weird. What is the curiosity? Like? Well, Peter Molyneux, the eccentric game developer, who's like 60 now or something, basically made a uh, mobile app for like, you know, Android and iOS. It's an enormous cube, and you chip away at it bit by bit. What's the game called? Curiosity. Can you play it just on the normal computer, not on your phone? Uh... I... I don't know. It's, it's only on one objective. It's literally just a giant cube of pixels on it right now, and I like it's not much to see. But the big the big thing is, once we finish tapping away at the cube, there'll be something inside that only one person gets. Oh, I see. It's probably so just you like be all like, just assigned a little sector, you just keep tapping away at it. Tap wherever you want. Like you, you, you can like zoom out and everything and see the whole cube. I really hope that it's some like random like twelve year old that's just borrowed his dad's iPad or something, finds it and then just like throw and just like ignores it. What happened? Well, little Timmy got the cube. He saw the secret. 
the terrible secret that no one knows in mind can compromise. Right, right where we want to be. The secret, the secret behind the Kennedy assassination. Yeah, I that. Well, the, the meat bullet. I can't believe that no people are actually lending the credit to the fact that since they couldn't find a bullet, the bullet was made out of meat. Seven o'clock baseball. It's baseball time in America. Baseball night. This is like this this game is has less thought going into it than fucking Farmville, but at least I'm working towards something here. Oh uh, yeah, I'm tapping it so hard. You can work towards this dick. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the very the very final cube, one person gets to see a picture of Peter Molyneux's butt. So, so is your mom still coming in and interrupting? Her fun megaphone. No. no. If she's here, I don't know. <laughs> she's gonna narc on you. Have you ever noticed how I artfully dodge using illicit words when I'm talking to you guys? No. Oh, maybe it's good enough. That's why it's so artful you don't notice. <laughs> you do a good job, but I guess, but I'm also on fire, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just cut to a bunch of bored fucking soldiers in the stands in the baseball game and the game hasn't even started yet. <laughs> I love baseball. Well, watching baseball is boring with them itself, so... God, I just want to choke on that, I mean, choke slam on that, I mean, choke, choke slam that guy out on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just throw him down and just straddle him. You know, go into a real high. You can really go for the glistening muscle, I mean muscle milk. Who the heck is Fist anyways? He was probably shot trying to defend Dorner in his bunker. Oh man, I miss Chris Dorner. This is my food. Chris Dorna was right. Oh, what the fuck? No way, I can play fucking long ones in this game. Who's Mr. Hands with it? Who do you think it is? Yeah, one of you, asshole? It's Sky 13 laser. Yeah, who the who is the Roki B cures unsucked god? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> Should I be? I dug one. Dude, the Romulans are green. They live on a giant dank mud planet. I think that's the Ferengi. They're the Jews that live on the space weed planet. Oh. Well, surprise, surprise. Rock, it's gonna win. Oh. Unless, unless somehow. They put Mark on the <laughs> <laughs> We have taken the objective. I like how every like spur, I mean Xbox fan was like super surprised and outraged. 
the, uh, the Xbox. He was kind of figured that's what was gonna happen anyway. Yeah. Since that fucking trend, you know, PC gaming trend in the last like five years. Yep. I remember the days of the used PC gaming, back gaming box at the, uh, the computer store. I also remember the days of, you know, the first person on the block with the CD burner. <laughs> oh, oh man. That shit, yep. dude. Man, this is gonna take more of a bit. I'm playing this map. I think that, like, 75% of my, uh, my homeroom class and middle school got to uh, play the, uh, the StarCraft expansion for five bucks. Dude, seriously. Burn comes half of one. And literally the only reason they had to pay five bucks is because that's how expensive, like, CDRs were. Oh. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Then maybe a Oh, right, DVDs? How expensive was that? And Blu-rays are still really expensive. Incredible. Kind of ridiculous. Oh, God, I hope there's a giant epic Chicago meltdown tomorrow night. Me too, dude. Mm -hmm. Also rest in piss, Rangers are gonna lose tomorrow. Yeah. But it was fun to stick one in Boston's side for some reason. To like, laugh and kick your ass. Have a good life at the expense. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. It's I'm sorry for the dead spin article. Uh, but there, it's basically the, the, the best dead spin article ever. I mean, like with that KO. Uh, 
man. Sometimes the javelins do weird things. I was at the frat party. He <laughs> attended on Saturday afternoon. First off, he wasn't even supposed to be there. He'd been hooking up with the frat president's girlfriend, a junior, over the past year, and had even gone so far as to jet her around the country. Despite this, he showed up in a way to get blackout drunk. Later, he relentlessly began hitting on a girl who wanted nothing to do with him. His response to this denial attempt to choke her, which is why what ultimately got him through it. Cool dude. He got the cap of sick for choking this girl, and then people jumped on him and his boys and kicked his ass out. Not that choke is okay, but if I was 23 and had that contract. <laughs> oh my god. Tanner thought it would be a good idea to choke a girl, like, both oh, hands around the throat yeah. choking. She immediately freaked out and started screaming, which drew a lot of attention. He was immediately thrown out by the frat boys, and that's when he <laughs> probably went to the KK, which is right down the street from Frat Row. In general, besides the choking, he didn't seem like a terrible guy, and was pretty cool to let people talk to him and take pics. <laughs> yeah, besides the choking. They just went so hard to fuck it up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the great white Satan just scored another goal. Ugh. I really wish they just let you dump fire the javelin if you're that close. serious about wanting to arrest Kaner. Fortunately for him, the other party in the quarrel was being equally as abusive to the cops. It turned into much more of a everything just everyone just get the fuck out of here thing instead of anything more substantial. I promise you one thing, Patrick did have tears in his eyes. I wouldn't have waited to a full out saw, but it was absolutely the worst slash misty category. I haven't matched a picture of him sulking he quickly disappeared. <laughs> We're taking a race, see what they're doing. There's like a bunch of people that aren't talking, I just say I'm gay in team chat. Yeah, I do that too all the time. It's funny, that's why. I'm playing this game that I played since I was like 12, and like people know me like, Oh my god, it's this guy, and I just say I'm gay. <laughs> it's like, well, a different man now. said, I fucking knew it! There we go, team chat. They still up 5 1. You mean 6 2 with 40 seconds left? 
Oh, they got a shot. Come on. We're still at this one. <laughs> Just when the series is over, I think I'll get myself an outfit and trademark hit me in. Just like, <laughs> holy shit. Yeah. Hey, you know what you should do? You should market him like Don Cherry does his fucking suit. Uh, I, I think, I think he's done. You aware? I spotted a hostile I think helicopter in your AO. Over. Just, like, Ottawa kiss my ass. You guys fucking suck. <laughs> or Pittsburgh will buy him next year. <laughs> Play through the ground combat part of this. Pittsburgh will become what the Red Wings were in 01, 02. The old folks home, the Yankees. <laughs> Take a giant shit in the California King bed and roll around in it for 60 minutes. Step one, oh, kick the goalie man. stick out of his hand. Step two, screen the very same goalie. Step three, run into the goalie. Step four, enjoy the dulcet tones of whatever the fuck the King's goal song is. <laughs> You guys play tomorrow, right? Tomorrow on the evening? Uh, that's not Sunday. That's right. Sunday. The Wings and the Blackhawks and the Bruins and the Rangers play tomorrow. So Boston and Detroit. Yeah, Boston and Boston. God damn it, why am I playing this fucking game? I'm playing Star Trek Online, I'm fucking repairing the fucking... Why are you playing Star Trek Online? I'm repairing pipes in a Romulan... No, it's a free to play game. I just had a really yeah, evil character in the first spot. Did you play it with I'm like SMP or something? I'm repairing pipes in a farm, that's what I'm doing with my life right now. I'm watching Marin you baseball. You are wasting... Yeah, you're double wasting your life. Better than the Yeah. Hey, Rob, one nothing. I'm sorry that you can't respect the Star Trek canon. Before. But, you know, actually, Giant Bomb and I were playing Star Trek Online for Thursday. Yeah, and the thing is, one of them actually bought a lifetime sub. <laughs> oh my god. What Dude, I knew it was a bad idea when I first started buying a game. I bought it on launch. I, mean, I played the beta and everything. I knew it was an awful, awful idea to get a lifetime sub. Hey, does that Northwest Alliance guy me. do uh, Star Trek white supremacist uh, machinima? What? Oh my god, I would join oh, his wow, guild so song. quickly. Just pretend for the longest time that you're white. Yeah, and then we meet then... face to face. <laughs> and then he just starts crying. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell him I'm a Marine, I can hook him up with real training and stuff. Uh... Or I'll just tell him I'm like Italian or something. He's like, Do I sound black to you? Sorry, my ancestors were Sicilian.
like I misspelled. It's okay. As long as we hold D, we're good. I foresee no problems with this plan. Verizon alive, I've spotted a hostile jeep. Hostile AA, over. Yeah, I spotted a hostile jeep around, over. I wish I could tell my 
Yeah, yeah lay low. Don't shoot at the enemies. You don't have to shoot shoot people every second.
their ass there. Our gunship must have gotten shot down.
Rokey, you there? Hey, Rokey. Rokey? Yeah. Where did Decoy go? Yeah, I don't Move know. Your butt around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make fun of him for this. I would advise against that. I'll just kick you out of here, man. You. Hello, I'm playing the fucking uh, headlock. So what is up, Roki? Roki Sama? Hmm. My dick. <laughs> a donut that's actually a croissant. Oh my god, I wanna dodge. A cro- a cronut. I thought about getting donuts, too, yep, but I already threw cookies. Well, I really appreciate that. You know, I think I'm gonna watch tonight. Your mom bone your dick. Besides game, besides game. Hmm. A Django Unchained? Django Unchained. I've never seen it. It's a good movie. That's kind of like here. Jamie Foxx. Have it yeah, if you're a racist negro, blacks are the real racists. <laughs> Spoiler so alert, Django wins. That movie proves that blacks are the real racists. Or, or should I watch The Tick? Definitely watch do not shoot the second the thing. Uh, the Tick is fucking amazing. Oh my god, what, someone just... The Tick, the live action or the cartoon? The cartoon. Fucking cartoon! Oh yeah. <laughs> There's there's people like fucking dying somewhere right now because that helicopter, life flight helicopter, has been going nonstop all afternoon to evening. What are you even talking about? The helicopter that lands in the hospital near my house. Well, I hope they all fucking died. I hope they all lived. I hope they all fucking died for disturbing the slumber. That wasn't sleeping. What? I need to go watch this episode of the thing. Fuck all of you. You were watching an episode of the thing. By the way, there Hacker we go. Are terrible. Round over. Round Hacker the Horrible is a terrible round comic. Round yeah, it's even worse than that, BC. It's, whoa, I'd say they're pretty on the same level. Whoa, hey now, hey now, now. Ooh, look at those double XP ribbons of ribbonness of ribbonosity. Double XP, woohoo. So anyway, I take Oh, I met I met an awesome TSA dog today, by the way. Good dog. They only get Oh no, this is a, TSA it's like one of those bomb sniffing dogs, a black lab. It was the biggest sweetheart ever. Uh, dogs are my wife and I walked some dogs because uh, some of the travel nurses that we work with were like, hey, we're out of town. Can you, can you go check on them? And so we checked on Loki and Freya. Loki, the big black lab, and Freya, the little little husky. Oh,